Hey guys, welcome back. I am getting all sorts of requests. So I decided to do two shakes in this video. I'm going to start with this Easter shake. It is the um, Reese's Cheesecake Egg Shake for Easter. So you will need chocolate Formula One. Put that in the blender and then you will need cookies and cream formula one and we're going to add that into the blender and this shake i'm just going to do it slightly different i'm just going to start um, with the formula ones and my sugar-free cheesecake jello mix and i'm going to um, blend those up so as always i'm going to get my herbalife spoon and get my tablespoon of my sugar-free jello cheesecake mix. Remember, that's the blue box. And I'm gonna add that in my blender. And then I'm going to grab some sugar-free Smucker's chocolate. This chocolate, it's very more um, dense, I would say, or chocolatey than the Hershey's sugar-free. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of that into the shake. Um, for the chocolatey flavor since it is going to be a um, Reese's Cheesecake Candy flavor. So I'm going to blend those ingredients up. I like to chop it up to get the um, icy flavor. So it's blending very well and now I'm going to add my protein and this time I'm adding peanut cookie um, since it is a Reese's flavor. Instead of using the PB Fit and adding more to it, um, I'm just going to use the peanut butter Herbalife protein because it just kind of makes more sense. So I'm going to blend those ingredients together. And um, remember, this is an Easter candy flavor. So I am going to top it off Um with some candy but I'll get into that later right now to make the effect I'm going to add some of the Hershey's sugar-free syrup into the blender and then just a little bit of whip that way you can see that is how I get that texture on the cup everyone is asking me why doesn't my swirl look like that when I put it on the cup it's because I'm not putting it on the cup I'm putting it inside of the blender and then once you put it in the blender, you're gonna start pouring it into the cup, but don't just dump it into the cup. You're gonna pour it slowly. <laughs> this is slowed down, but you're gonna pour it slowly where it's touching the rim or touching the, the cup sides and swirl your cup at the same time. And that will create that swirly type look um, around the entire cup if you just keep spinning the cup. If you just dump it all in, then it's just gonna <laughs> kind of fall all in the bottom of the shake. But just, you know, pour it in slowly as you're spinning the cup. It's very simple and fast. I just have this slowed down because I'm one of those people who gets satisfied from watching the shake pour. <laughs> so this is how I create that effect that everyone has been asking me about. And once I get all of it into the cup, well, as much as I can um, into the cup, I'm going to go ahead and put my lid on. That way it catches the remaining and I'll finish pouring. And now since I put all the whipped cream and chocolate on the bottom, I am not gonna put more whipped cream on the top of this one, just because I wanna keep everything low since I will be adding one piece of candy. Now, mind you, if your client is very strict on goals or if you're very strict on goals, go ahead and drink the shake without the candy. The candy is just for fun, for theme. Um, if you're making it for a kid, of course, offer the candy. But again, if you have a club and you're serving this in your club, always ask if they want that piece of candy. And just because, you know, See how much more shake I can get in there. All right, so this is the Easter 
um, Reese's egg cheesecake shake. So this is the egg. You can find a whole bag of them and they're the minis. They're not the real big eggs that you find, but these are actually the small ones. So it works out well for the shake. But again, if you're extremely strict and you don't want to treat yourself, don't put that egg on top. Same with your clients. And that is the Reese's Cheesecake Easter Egg Shake that we offer during Easter. And now I'm going to move right on into the Shamrock Oreo Shake. And this is another St. Patrick's Day shake. I've been doing these together only because, you know, the holidays are so close together um, and people kind of offer them at the same time. So we're going to start with mint chocolate and, of course, vanilla protein. And the add-ons to this shake is just going to be, I have these Oreos that I have pre-crushed. It kind of makes things go faster when the club gets busy. So I'm going to be using some of the pre-crushed Oreos. And I'll also be using um, the sugar-free chocolate syrup again, as well as the whipped cream. And those will be all the add-ins for this shake. All right, so I'm going to blend everything up. Well, my ice, you know, I always start with chopping up my ice first. And once I get the ice, the texture I would like it, I'm going to add the mint chocolate chip. When I first started taking Herbalife, this was the only flavor I would take. <laughs> my sponsor would try to give me so many other flavors. I'm like, no, just give me my mint chocolate. <laughs> okay, and now I'm going to add my vanilla protein. This shake is super simple. And it's super refreshing and it tastes really good. So now that I got my protein in there, I am going to blend it up. And once I get the blender to the texture I want it to be, again, I like these ice cream shakes. I like them like ice cream. Some people don't like a lot of ice. Some people do, but I like mine to be like ice cream. My husband too. This shake's for my husband, by the way. So bring it up the way he likes it. And now I'm going to start with the toppings inside the blender. I'm going to add the whipped cream. And then I'm going to add some of the sugar-free chocolate. And that's baby AJ screaming in the background. <laughs> so now that I got my chocolate in there, I'm going to add a little bit of the crushed Oreos right into the blender like that and then I am going to <laughs> grab my cup and start pouring it around the sides of the cup like I showed you in the previous shake And this one's extremely thick, so it's not pouring very nicely. <laughs> and then this happens. So not every pour is pretty. Not every pour is perfect. This one happens to be an epic fail, but it still tastes good. 
So I'm just going to take my time and clean up my shake. Sorry, you know, this is real life. Everything isn't perfect. <laughs> so you see me here just wiping up my mess. I got me some little wipes. And I am cleaning the cup because I don't want it to drip all over the place. Cleaning up my space and drying it down. Now, once I get my life back together and get the shake ready to go, look how pretty it is, though. It's such a pretty shake. I love making this shake. All right. See the perfect swirls from the pour? Okay. Now I'm going to grab the whip again. Just add a little bit on top. And then I am going to get my crushed Oreos again. Add a little bit of this, and voila. This is a St. Patrick's Day shake. Again, it is the Shamrock Oreo shake. I know this video was kind of clumsy, but I hope it helped. And I will have more on the way for you guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what video you would like next.